So the hop ice cream began in 1978 when a couple of guys from New York City uh, decided to pass through Asheville on a trip, I think to Florida is what the, the story is. Um, and they fell in love with the city and decided that they were going to open up an ice cream store in what used to be an old service station. And at that time, uh, my wife Ashley and I were both working for the previous owners. We actually started working in 2003 at the Old Hop when we were students at UNC Asheville. So in 2008, Ashley and I became the fifth owners of the Hop ice cream. And one of the things we wanted to do right from the start was make the ice cream better. Ice cream was always good, it was always homemade, but the ingredient list uh, could have been cleaned up. And that's what we started doing uh, right from the beginning, was making sure we were using real ingredients um, as opposed to synthesized extracts, and using fresh ingredients as opposed to frozen ingredients, and using local ingredients as opposed to just whatever we could get at the grocery store. And over time, we really made extreme efforts to clean it up and make it as, as best as possible. several reasons why I like working here. Um, kind of the first is that it feels almost like a family, partially because of the local business aspect, but also because we're all friends. We have um, group meetings together. Uh, a lot of us are friends outside of work and hang out, and we're always there to take each other's shifts when we need it, or just be there for each other, for each other. like if someone's sick or um, ha has a problem, we like, we get together and we, we help out. So that's like the main reason why I love looking at the hall, is you have that sense of community and also that sense of community outside with the greater Asheville community. You have locals who are regulars here come in all the time. You know what they are gonna get right as they walk in the door. Just the idea of keeping it local and keeping it in Asheville is another aspect I like. There's just funny stuff that happens all the time. Um, sometimes it goes to like seeing who can stack as many waffle cones as fast or just little stuff to keep us busy when it might be a, a little quiet in the shop or um, we have this trick sometimes if a kid is crying or upset, we say, do you want to make a, waffle, or a cake cone disappear? We smash it because they're wafers, it just like dissipates. It's never too stressful, um, even when the line's out the door, you're still making jokes with your coworkers and, you know, passing each other ice cream as fast as you can, and so, I, don't know, I have a lot of fun working here. Well, I started working here in August last year, um, but I'm from here, so I was like a customer here for years and years and years. Grew up just down the street, so I'm a huge fan of the hop. Their jitterbugs completely got me through high school. I tell that to everybody. I played sports and took like four AP classes a year. So if I didn't have a jitterbug after soccer practice, I probably couldn't have done my homework most weeks. So jitterbugs are awesome. So I started working in August. Um, Greg usually starts you out doing events. So kind of get to see the inner workings of, of you know the store a little bit, but he gets to kind of be one-on-one -on -one with you at events to start out with, which is really nice. He gets to kind of like, gauge your strengths and stuff like that. People that come here already know about us, but when you go out to events, you get to like introduce people to the hop that have never heard of it before, so that's really fun. It's kind of neat getting to do both the ice cream side of things and the espresso side of things, because I had never done like barista stuff before, so that's kind of cool. Greg's awesome, and in, from the very get-go, it's like all about customer service, so he, you know, he teaches you how to like interact with people, how to be like timely about it, but how to still like give them enough of yourself to get something back, stuff like that. And that's always like a huge key in this business for him. They're so into community interaction and community fundraising, things like that, which is one reason I really, really love the hop. You don't get very many unhappy people coming to get ice cream. So 
So lots of smiling faces. Um, sometimes kids come in that are having a bad day, and usually they're a lot happier when they walk out. So it's not the worst job ever. Mostly, mostly pretty, pretty happy people. It's just a really awesome business and a fun place to work. Yeah. Any other questions? We good? Cool.